Well, Varun Beverages and VST Tiller is also on our radar today. Mangalam is here to tell us the latest on that. Mangalam, over to you. Well, for Varun Beverages, uh, you know, there has been an initiating coverage. Moti, uh, uh, we have Morgan Stanley, which has initiated coverage with an overweight rating and a target price a little over 1,700 rupees because they believe that, you know, the company which has a solid track record of domestic scaling and international opportunities will outpace the F&B industry. In fact, uh, it fits in well with their mass discretionary consumption names or theme for 2024 as well. They believe that the India revenue for the company could compound at around 19% with margins around 24%. And at current reckoning, the stock at 57 times is well placed as against peers, largely because of the higher growth opportunity that it offers. For VST Industries, and that stock is usually in focus on account of large trades, Yesterday, towards the dying minutes of trade, there was a large trade where HDFC Mutual Fund sold about 3.3 lakh shares or about 2% equity. And this is the second sale that they've done in 2024. The important part is the buyer. The buyer has been Radha Kishan Damani, who bought about 1.5% equity or 2.33 lakh shares of the shares that were on offer. And this is, again, his second purchase in this calendar year itself, where earlier he had bought about 1.4% equity itself. Radha Kishan Damani and family own about 34.34% stake in the company before this deal and now post this their stake increases to 35.85 percent the question now is with hdfc bank having nearly 6.8 percent stake in september coming down all the way to 2.5 percent where does it go from now uh, recovery in secret volumes as well as market share for vst industries would be crucial to watch and will family of radha kishan damani and uh, uh, you know others buy more as uh, the domestic institutional sell okay thanks a lot for that uh, mangalam